Hello and welcome my rain poodles, how you doing today? It's Chris here and we're gonna play primary only on easy mode. Now if you guys don't know this yet, I know it's sort of uh, new into the videos here. If you play on easy, it's primary only. If you play on medium, it's military only. And if you play on hard, it's gonna be magic monkeys only. So it's kind of interesting over here to see how we're gonna end up doing this. Um, primary monkeys are supposed to be the worst monkeys in the game. So they, 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 they should be kind of difficult to work with, but because we're only playing on easy, guys, it's not going to be all that bad. So we're going to start off with Quincy, of course. He's our hero. Getting a hero uh, at the earliest part of the game that you can is extremely, extremely important. So we're going to pop him down pretty much right away and let him get to work, man. In the meantime, we can start popping down some extra towers here to do some extra defense. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to go for a quick attack shooter, boomer, and maybe like a dart monkey in the back to sort of do cleanup over here. And those are going to be my main towers for a long time in this game. I may pop down a cannon or something like that, but honestly, I don't think we're going to need it. There's not that many balloons that we actually need to pop over here. So here's our tack shooter. I don't mind putting him in the middle here, because even though it seems like he really can't hit the balloons, he actually can, even with this zero range upgrade. So let's pop a boomer in here as well. Sort of in the middle here. We want to make sure that uh, wherever he's shooting, he's going to try and hook around and be able to hit all the balloons without end up missing. So this is a perfect spot for him. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to tell, but when he hooks, he's going to hook through here. He's going to hook through here. And then when he's chasing, he's going to hook through here too, just a little bit. He might end up missing just a little bit over here, but it shouldn't end up working out just enough uh, for us. So let's pop down our dart monkey down here, sort of to do some cleanup action. We're going to do one here, and we're going to do one here. And then we're going to start getting our upgrades ready. One of the best upgrades for the Taxter is, surprisingly, the Blade Shooter. It's really, really good for grouped popping power. But, because I'm not going to end up needing a ton of group popping power, I think it's going to be more efficient for us to go more tax, even more tax, and tax sprayer. And the main reason why is because this thing's freaking cheap, guys. And when you get faster shooting and even faster shooting, it just does a ridiculous amount of popping power for uh, a fairly low price. Only $819.00. Uh, selling price. You know, that's compared to, you know, to, uh, what is Quincy worth? Well, I guess he's worth 400 bucks, yes. so we spent 600 bucks on him. But it's just not that much money invested in this tax prayer, and it's going to be ridiculously strong here, guys. If the balloons even get to it. I mean, Quincy's too freaking strong over here, man. So what I want to do in the meantime is I actually want to tell you guys a, a, a quick story. Um, you know, when we're playing these really, really easy uh, games, we really don't need to pay attention to the game all that much. This is more just for show, to make sure that if anybody is having any issues with this game, they can find a guide for themselves to make sure that they're going to get through it over here. But anyways, um, it's a quick story about when I was a kid. Um, when I was a kid, uh, I, I didn't really have very many friends. But I did have one friend named Adam, and we I, I would could say that that was the only time that I actually had a best friend in real life. Adam was my best friend. And of course, when you have a best friend, you do really weird stuff together. And one of the weird things we did was we tried to build forts. Yes. That was kind of our thing for a little while. We were, we were fort builders. So uh, I'm going to pop down an extra 2-3 uh, dart monkey uh, on both of these sides over here. And I'm going to end up getting probably a 2-3 boomerang just to make sure I have a really good amount of grouped popping power as well, not just spaced popping power to make sure I don't miss anything. Sadly, no spike factory or anything, just so we can't really play it safe in the back, but that's okay. Um, so there's my bionic boomer already. We're going to get imp uh, improved rangs and uh, blades over here. Now, personally, I actually think the 2-3 boomer is probably worse than the... Uh, the, the 003 boomer, or the 203 boomer, actually. So we're going to end up getting one of them, too. But you got to put him in a specific spot. you got to put him in a spot like this. So when he shoots, he's going to be throwing down like a straight line, basically. It's kind of interesting. But anyways, we used to build forts. But our forts freaking sucked. Like, we weren't doing cool stuff. Like, you know, my dad didn't really help me build any forts when I was a kid. Uh, oh, what the heck? Really? Okay, I guess we're going to have to build a cannon. For some reason, I thought that the glaive thrower ended up popping these things, but I guess not. Come on, little cannon, you can do it, buddy. You could do it. And there it is. So our cannon is going to pop these lead balloons, but honestly, it was not as fantastic as I was hoping for. We're gonna put them on strong over here, just so we make sure we pop those lead balloons. And there we go. I think, actually, uh, Red Hat Ranks, there it is. So the boomerang can pop uh, lead balloons, but he's got to have the upgrade on the bottom here. We're going to get the Kylie boomerang, and then we're going to put him on last once we get that. I think I pronounced that correctly, but I'm honestly not sure. Kylie Boomerang. It makes sense. And then we can get the uh, faster throwing and faster rings right here. And let's see how he does. Yes. Looks pretty freaking good, man. I mean, obviously, we don't need to even pop that many balloons. 
But anyways, uh, to continue my story, we one time we made a fort in, like, these evergreen trees, and, like, it really was really, really terrible. Like, all we did was we moved a bunch of needles kind of out of the way and sort of, like, hid in the, the trees. And then after we, like, cleaned out the fort and, like, made it look really cool and everything, we just sat down and we're like, all right, I guess we're done. There was, like, nothing that we wanted to do in the fort because it was kind of pine needly and gross. So that was kind of the end of that. So we had to look for a new fort location. Eventually, we came across this sort of storm sewer type deal. I don't even know how to explain it exactly. But uh, it was like a gigantic opening um, on ground level so you could walk into this gigantic concrete thing. So what we did was, of course, being idiots, we're like, let's go in here, man. Let's go deep in here and see what we can do, baby. So uh, uh, we made it this kind of like uh, running, running, um, not even joke, but like running competition to see who could go the deepest into this uh, drain sewer, basically. And as kids, we didn't even know what the heck this thing was. We're thinking poop's coming out of here and, like, grossness is coming out of here. As an adult, I'm like, it was just a rain sewer, like, literally water would just come through all the sewers in the streets and just kind of lead into this, this grassy area over here. So, I understand that now, but as a kid, it was uh, a little bit more of a, an interesting uh, concept over there. Um, eventually, I did end up becoming the champion, though. I went further than anybody else. I've marked my, uh, I, I, in chalk, I marked my little thing on the very back wall of the of the rain sewer over there. And I, I remember I actually told my friend, I'm like, dude, there was a guy in there with like a flashlight and everything. And it was ridiculous. And I was super duper scared that he was going to end up taking me into his, for, into his like tunnel and, and kill me or something like that. And my friend totally believed me. But of course, I was lying. Of course I was. Just to be cool. Be like, oh yeah, man, it's super dangerous. But of course, that was just me being a stupid kid. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.